China just ensured Europe will freeze by shutting down access to secondhand Russian oil and gas. New U.S. economic data shows life under Biden is becoming unbearable. Whistleblower testimony shows there is way more going on at the FBI than anyone would guess, and new data comes out about the Nord Stream pipeline attack. Thanks for liking and sharing these videos with family and friends. I'd also like to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Let's jump right in. President Joe Biden will announce today that he will be sending a bill to Congress to federally codify Roe versus Wade if Democrats can win the midterm elections. In order for a bill like this to pass, Democrats must maintain their majority position in the House and gain seats in the Senate. In the upcoming speech, Biden will criticize the fact that roughly half the states in America have made abortion access illegal. However, recent polls suggest that Republican support is on the rise, and it's unclear if Biden's abortion promise will be enough to sway voters off the fence from their top issues. The two biggest issue concerns by a wide margin are out-of-control inflation, the rising cost of living here in the United States, and also the crime wave that we are seeing all across the country. But President Biden says abortion and the right to end a pregnancy at any time is the ticket item that will keep Democrats in power. The stock market is green today with the Dow Jones, S&P 500, and NASDAQ all trading 1% higher as of the filming of this video. In fact, much of the stock market is green today as if some magical good news came out and was spread publicly. However, this is likely just another Wall Street rally, so I'm not saying not to participate, uh, but just be careful uh, as a lot of uh, times that market goes up and then it goes right back down. Well, the Pelosi family has just revealed their stock trades to Congress, and according to new filings, the Pelosi's lost $900,000 on options in Micron, Disney, and NVIDIA stock. It's so weird. Uh, Paul Pelosi is finally losing money now that people are watching him uh, like a hawk. So I don't know if this is done on purpose to throw people off their scent for how they've become uh, 100 millionaires by trading stocks, or if he genuinely is just having a bad run of stocks like everybody else. IBM Vice Chairman Gary Cohn warns the U.S. is about to experience a large amount of layoffs. He said large and small companies will soon begin to lay off all extra staff they have on the books in order to tighten their belt before the coming recession. He said massive job loss is one of the key tools the Federal Reserve is using in order to stop inflation. So not only is the Fed tanking the stock market on purpose, but it now wants mass layoffs in order to cool inflation even faster. Cohn also suggested businesses will start offering smaller salaries going forward as they seek to run a leaner firm with lower overhead. The Fed sees this as good because it means uh, people have less disposable income. So this all goes very counterintuitive to what you and I think runs a good economy, employed people, making money, taking care of their families, buying things. But the Federal Reserve wants just the opposite. They want people with less money, less jobs, higher interest rates, all of this to cool this, this raging hot inflation. Now, according to new data shared on the New York Post, the average American has lost $34,000 in their retirement account under the Biden presidency. They also showed the average family needs $6,000 more per year to maintain their same lifestyle. Well, most Americans didn't magically have $6,000 show up in their bank account. So Americans are lowering their lifestyles, buying less, and planning on taking less vacations. However, just yesterday, while eating an ice cream cone, President Biden said the dollar is strong and the U.S. economy is strong as hell. So Biden believes the biggest problem is he has created too strong of an economy. This is why uh, so many families are, are struggling financially because Biden has just done such a great job. 
Now, common sense would tell me not to agree with what the president has just said, but you know, we should just blindly follow the president of the United States because he would never lead us astray. All right, now I have a lot more big news to share with you, but first, a word from today's video sponsor. I want to thank today's video sponsor, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Casey and I use HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. It's why they're America's number one meal kit. Between work, dance, tumbling, and jujitsu, Casey and I try to have dinner together as often as we can. It's good for the kids and it's good for us. This week was especially busy and we didn't eat dinner until almost 9 p.m. Gratefully, we had everything we needed in our fridge thanks to HelloFresh. So we all pitched in as a family and made the most delicious sweet chili turkey bowls. It was easy, delicious, and I didn't hear a single complaint. So go to HelloFresh.com and use code Stephen65 to get 65% off your order plus free shipping. That's right. HelloFresh is going to give new customers 65% off plus free shipping so you can try them out today. The food is amazing and HelloFresh has helped us fall back in love with cooking and food. Thanks HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. HelloFresh really is delicious and if you use it right, it can save you money. Now, the portal for student loan debt forgiveness is now open and taking applications. President Biden said he is excited to give away all of this free money to help lower income families. This student loan forgiveness is opposed right now by more than 50% of the country and is stuck in court litigation, uh, but uh, the White House has opened the enrollment website because they are moving forward with faith that this will make it through the justice system. Uh, but my guess is we won't actually know whether you're going to get ten or $20,000 of student loan forgiveness until after the midterm elections. But again, uh, I just wanted to let you know, if you have student loan forgiveness and you plan to apply, that portal is now open. Just search uh, student loan forgiveness portal and it should pop right up. But do be careful. There are lots of spammers out there here on YouTube and in the student loan debt forgiveness world. So please, please be careful. After explosions caused major leaks in the Nord Stream pipelines, many speculated that an attack was the cause of damage. We now know for a fact it was a sabotage attack. The first pictures of the damage were just released uh, and they are devastating. In, in one specific location, 50 meters of concrete reinforced steel pipe is missing. Just like blown apart, 50 meters, just absolutely gone. Uh, these pipes are very, very strong. So not only are they a pipe, but they're, they're, they're uh, encased in steel reinforced cement. So only an explosion would have led to this uh, level of damage. So uh, basically what they're saying is heavy weaponry was used to carry out this attack. Now, most Europeans now believe the Nord Stream was attacked by the United States, but the United States denies this. Sweden has done a literal deep dive investigation, sending down divers, uh, small submarines and cameras, and they say they have knowledge of who did this, but they refuse to say publicly who it was and have said it's a national security risk to leak this top secret information. So it makes you wonder if they know for a fact who did it, what relationship would be damaged for Sweden by revealing who actually blew up the pipeline? I don't know. Most countries now agree Putin likely did not blow up his own pipeline after spending over $10 billion to make it operational, only to then offer to fix it and then create an overland pipeline through Turkey. So again, more and more, it's looking like it was not Russia, and more and more, it's looking like it was somehow linked to the United States. Now, not only is this an act of terror, it is an act of eco-terrorism because of how much pollution has been released into the ocean in this area of the world. 
As the pipeline leak continues to dry up, so are the contents of the United States oil reserves. President Joe Biden has decided to release another 10 to 15 million barrels of oil just before the midterm elections. This decision puts Biden's total release at roughly 200 million barrels of oil. Biden has single-handedly released more oil from the reserves than all U.S. presidents combined, according to the Wall Street Journal. In terms of its levels, our oil reserves have not been this low since 1984. Now, do you support President Biden continuing to drain the oil reserves in order to lower prices before the election? Or is this just a short-term band-aid in order to help Democrats get reelected? I don't know. Let, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As the world calls for peace, Ukrainian President Zelensky has been heavily against negotiating with Russia due to the war crimes he, say, he says have been committed against his people. However, some debate still remains regarding what uh, Ukrainian citizens want. But a new poll released shows that most Ukrainians stand with President Zelensky. In fact, the poll showed 70% of Ukrainians support fighting Russia until the very end, while 26% say that uh, we should be negotiating and end this war now. Now, I didn't expect this to be the case. However, it seems the strong will of the Ukrainian people is to fight for their country and not to give in to Vladimir Putin. So likely this war will continue for some time. New information out today shows Putin's most re recent attacks have knocked out power for 30% of all Ukrainians. Close to 500 towns in Ukraine have zero electricity as of right now. Well, China just ensured Europe is going to freeze this winter while uh, it continues to support Putin and Russia. As you know, NATO nations put harsh sanctions on Russia and the Russian energy industry. Russia then found new buying partners uh, through India and China to sell their cheap oil and gas, and China being the biggest purchaser. Well, China, after buying oil and gas from Russia, would then turn around and sell it back to Europe at a huge profit. The United States also tried to step in by selling liquid natural gas to Europe, again, at an elevated price, to justify not selling uh, gas to American citizens at an affordable price. Well, now China uh, has announced that they are worried about this upcoming winter and having enough gas for their own citizens. So they are cutting Europe off. They have announced that they will no longer sell their liquid natural gas to Europe in order to ensure their own survival. However, they are going to continue to buy oil and gas at as fast of a rate and in as high of a quantity as they can from Putin and Russia. Now, EU nations are now scrambling to find more oil and gas partners as they have been completely caught off guard. Again, this was just announced in the last 24 hours. Uh, this in turn hurts the United States because we've lowered our output so much and raised our own prices. But now the United States may have to raise prices in order to sell even more United States natural gas to Europe because Europe is a NATO partner. So again, uh, Europe is going to feel the pain of this and United States citizens are going to feel the pain of this as the United States tries to help NATO and Russia and China cut off access to oil and gas for European nations. So like OPEC cutting production, China is now cutting oil and gas access to Europe. Russia continues to have great control over Europe and the world by controlling the food supply and the fuel supply. It's not clear how this will affect gas and natural gas prices here at home in the United States and around the world, but there will be a ripple effect as they shut down access almost overnight. This may force President Biden to release even more strategic petroleum reserve oil and sell even more U.S. natural gas abroad, 
Again, this is a big move by China that was just announced in the last 24 hours. While some hate former President Donald Trump, there is no doubt he did a lot uh, of good for Israel and the Middle East. Trump recognized uh, Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and was even responsible for putting a U.S. embassy there. Despite these accomplishments, the, Abri uh, the Abraham Accords and all of the peace agreements, polls have shown that Jewish Americans leaned towards having President Biden as their president in 2020. Trump responded with, no president has done more for Israel than I have. Those living in Israel, though uh, they are a different story, the highest approval rating in the world could easily be PM. U.S. Jews have to get their act together and appreciate what they have in Israel before it is too late. So basically saying, listen, you don't have to support me, but you need to continue to support Israel. Look at all that we did that is, is starting to unravel. Republican Senator Chuck Grassley has continued to accuse the FBI of ignoring the national security threat that Biden uh, poses through his alleged former business dealings with his son Hunter and his brother James. He stated, based on recent protected disclosures to my office, the FBI has within its possession significant, impactful, and voluminous evidence with respect to potential crimes, uh, cr criminal conduct by Hunter Biden and James Biden. Grassley elaborated on the evidence, saying the evidence within the FBI's possession that I am referencing is included in part in a summary of Tony Bobolinsky on October 23rd, 2020 interview with FBI agents. This is uh, Hunter Biden's former business partner. As of now, it has been reported that the Justice Department has delayed its decision on whether or not to charge Hunter Biden with tax and gun related crimes. Now, I'm sure this had nothing to do with the upcoming election, but the FBI is now saying, we think there's enough to charge him, but we're going to put off uh, releasing any information for now. So lot, lots going on in the country and the world. Um, and I appreciate you guys stopping by each and every day for me to share it with you so that you can stay in the loop. You can only make educated decisions about what to do with your money, your family, your home, uh, by being informed. And so I'm glad that you see this channel as a great source of information each and every day. Now, this is my update for today. As I know more, I will definitely come on and share more with you. Make sure to sign up to be one of the winners of the $8,000 in cash and prizes that Casey and I are doing thanks to generous video sponsors. Also, check out HelloFresh. If used correctly, they can save you money and time and their food and recipes are absolutely delicious. I'll make sure to leave a link down below. Now, before you go, I wanna remind you that you are amazing. Make sure to check out this video and be subscribed to the channel. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by today and I will see you on the next video.